So here, the ID Tech X. So who are you? <laughs> I'm Marcus Trecker from Teemo. So you just uh, put on your jacket. Why? Yes, it's cold here with the climate system. <laughs> and so you have a special. This is not just a normal one, right? No, it's a special jacket. <laughs> so what? Who are you? I'm yeah, Marcus from Teemo. We are doing technologies for garments. So our company is Technologies in Motion and we are developing electronic systems and this here what you see is a conformable electronic system that we have developed and we are taking pre-orders and you can get it in spring. So what, what is in here? So this is a jacket for convertible drivers and car enthusiasts. What we have inside is uh, two-zone heating. So we have the upper zone with the inner color so this Which is, is a heated. heating, like yes. uh, how? It's a resistive heating. We have batteries. I can show you. <laughs> we have some batteries, which we can put into the pocket. I have some test batteries in at the moment, so I can just switch on the heat, the electric heat, with these two buttons. This is the upper heating zone. This is my lower back heating zone, and on top of this. I have a hands-free system with speakers here so I can listen to my favorite tunes if I want to but the main function is a hands-free system for the convertible drivers if you have a classic car you may not want to put a modern Bluetooth system in it so you have it all in a jacket let's take it off again yeah and uh, let's uh, let's show close and this battery system it seems flexible. What's yes. going on here? It's flexible. It's flexible? Yes. What's going on? What is this? This is a flexible battery. All right. This is a lithium ion battery. Yeah. Which, yeah, we had to develop it because we want this jacket to be a leather jacket. Of course, it's a complex electronic system, but you will not feel it. You have no idea <laughs> that so, this is electronics that you're wearing. And so the only thing you have is the useful functions like heat and the hands-free system and as mobile phones nowadays. So can we see, yeah. uh, so there's a bunch of things around here, something yes. inside here. Yes. And uh, the heat, I can feel it's hot. It's for real. It's for real. It's not just because it's you... It's not a joke. Yeah, it's for real. And uh, where else? Is more stuff? Yeah, what you have, like mobile phones nowadays are always empty. We have integrated a mobile phone charger, so you just can charge your mobile phone in the pocket of the jacket. And uh, where's the battery also this? It's the same batteries, the same? because we need a lot of energy. We have two batteries like this in the jacket, which gives you autonomy of about one and a half to six hours. And so we can easily charge your mobile phone on top of it. One and a half to six hours of heating? Of heating. All right. Of course, with music and... Uh, and just calling, you will have a lot of time. And you have the female version? Yeah, female version is very stylish. The same functionality? Same or functionality more functioning or less? And one extra feature, we have the pockets heated. So we have heated pockets for the women. Some men complain that they don't get this feature, but... Why do women get to heat their pockets? Yeah, this is a physiological topic. Women have more often cold hands than men, and they like the warm hands. So, is it charging the jacket right now? Yes. It cha we charging? run this all day here, so uh, we are like, this is the connection you have to the car. And you have one connected to the car on the right side and one on the left side. To the, Depending to where the you car. sit, you can sit, you can just put it on your, yeah, on your car cigarette lighter and run it out of the cigarette lighter. So that means when you're in the car, you're charging? Yes. And then you get out and you are warm for two hours at least. Yes. And, and now, uh, is, it, is this printed electronics? This is conformable electronics. So this electronics moves with your body and you will not feel it. And therefore, for example, here you see these wires. This is a cable. This is an electric conductor, which is in principle a textile cable, textile wire. And we developed this in order to be able to integrate these kind of uh, technology into jackets without you feeling it. So you developed a special cable, otherwise it does... So yeah, it otherwise be, be nice. it, it will break and these cables are washable. Washable? Everything's washable here? Uh, the leather not. <laughs> leather no, not washable. No, but you leather... don't want to wash your leather jacket, but the technology in principle can be washed. 
So we're here at the ID Tech X. What do you think <laughs> about this great. conference? Great conference. We yeah. made very good contacts. We had very good feedback. So it's uh, yeah, very nice partnering with all these companies. It's and interesting. meeting the people out of the <laughs> out of this kind of uh, technology. Wh which kind of people are here? Yeah, you have developers from uh, electronics world doing components in textiles, doing printed electronics. You have people on energy harvesting. So it's a very good mix of technical people and also people from brands or big companies who see how you bring these technologies to the market. All right. So. Uh is this, can I buy one or where? Where, where would people yeah, pre-order? Pre Which it's, website? It's on teimo.com. It's right. www.teimo, T-E-I-I-M-O.com. Teimo. Yes. And there we have it. People can go now and they can order now and there's yeah. your official videos, how you cut it open and stuff. And what, what is that about? Yeah, oh, we have it you... as well on Kickstarter for one more week. So you get a preferred prize on Kickstarter if you want to support us there. Is it a successful campaign on Kickstarter? Uh, not yet. <laughs> How much more do you need? We can try. We can try. How yeah. many do you need to sell? I, I have no idea at the moment. All right, but, so it's a uh, Kickstarter. The big topic is people would like to order it on our website. It's not a typical Kickstarter item. It's uh, very special. <laughs> and you can give one to each of the uh, members of the German national football team. <laughs> oh no, the German national football team has something else. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Did you just give them one and they'll wear it? I give them one. I made something for them the last four years. You did? Yes. <laughs> I was the head of engineering for a big German sports company. Ah, you did the... Uh, the Mycoach Team stuff. Elite. The, the what? The Mycoach Team Elite, the Adidas You did system. the Ad Adi Team Mycoach, which was I on was stage the before. the director of engineering for Adidas. And this, this is the system that was on stage. So yeah. basically it's thanks to you <laughs> that Germany won the World Cup and not Switzerland. I think thanks to a I mean, lot of people <laughs> and especially to the German national team. But maybe a system like this has contributed. What is a Mycoach? Uh, Mycoach is an initiative on Adidas that uh, you can look it up on the web. And it's about training. Training, it's and it's the coach, and it's uh, the sensors on every player. Yeah, is the, it? the My Coach Team Elite is a specific development for profi soccer players. And it starts with a smart shirt, and it has the whole in electronics infrastructure um, that, yeah, that you need in order to collect data from profi soccer players and for coaches to have the data on their iPads immediately. And then there is a whole cloud infrastructure with it where you upload the data after training session. And so you can track the performance of the players over a longer time period with uh, not a lot of efforts on the tracking side because the system is highly automated. So this is the most professional sports tracking system ever. And uh, let's, I don't know, maybe? I would think so, yeah. yeah. It's, it's quite complex and it was a lot of effort and it's a high quality system. And it's a real system. It's out it's there. It's a real system. And it's out there. Using them, and all the teams that use the, them are winning. Yeah, you can see this. This is already published from Adidas as well. This, uh, the whole MLS, Major League Soccer in the US, is using it. Every team there has one. But and they just lost 7 0 against Manchester United, the Galaxy people. <laughs> I'm yeah, joking. Okay, but LA. just credits to mention yeah. just the United there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they use my coach also. So they use an ML so. MLS. And if not, they would be even better. Yeah. And the teams that are using it are the, the winning teams, right? Of course, always. I mean, always. that's that's for real. But in sports, we are all winners, you know. But I mean, you can still give the jacket to the German football team because yeah, they use they my coach one. during the the sports and after they can wear this, right? I think this is a this is a deal. Yeah, if they show up in our office, we can discuss it. So what's going to happen with uh, wearable clothing in the future? What's what are you really really looking forward to? Like, uh, which technologies do you want here? Yeah, we are looking at sensors and at technologies we can integrate into garments. And we help people to realize this kind of systems. We have a setup where you can bring innovation to the market directly, like this jacket. This is something we do and we bring it to the market so that the end consumer can really buy this technology and also can afford it. So you, you want to grab some of the technologies here and bring them for real to market? Yes, this is what we do. This is what I'm doing. It's what you do. And this is what our company is doing. Is it difficult? 
Yes, it's a new technology, so you always have to make sure it's viable, it's robust, and that you can make a product out of it. And of course, you have to keep the cost in mind. And very often with the new technologies, you have to start somewhere with a lower volume. So there's like samples, prototypes, and then mass production. Yes. And what we do as well, we help people if somebody, even a big brand, wants to do something in this arena, we help them getting the industrialization done, and we help with the technology transfer, and also can put these kind of things into a high volume production. And so, uh, what's it called? Uh, health? Oh, it's important is a in very the clothes. Big topic, yes. It could be nice, right? And yes. This is my coach a little bit, but uh, some sensors, heart rate. You have other bunch of things should yeah, be in the jacket you have too. Two big driving factors. In sports, we talk about a virtual trainer. So you have, not everyone has a personal coach, but you can have a virtual trainer as a coach who helps you to train better. And this is a system like my coach. This is the idea behind. It helps you get your training plan and it helps you to train on a day to day basis and it helps you to get better and not to train wrong. So we talk of the virtual trainer. And the other topic is, of course, uh, our aging population. And uh, therefore, you would like to have some more sensors or you have people with chronic illnesses who can use wearables as, uh, yeah, Monitoring. In, their daily, in their daily life without any stigmatism because you will not feel it. These kind of sensors, you can integrate them in your garments and you just have them with you. If you don't need them, it's great. And if you need them, they're there. All right. So which ARM processor are you using in the jacket? <laughs> Is that a secret? Yeah, it's a very small one. No, arm? we have several ARM processors. ARM in this Cortex jacket. M something? It's an M0. M0? What do you think about the M0 Plus? M0 Plus? T tell me about it. I don't know, it's even smaller, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, so uh, Wi Fi, Bluetooth. Wi Fi, Bluetooth. You have, have Bluetooth, right? Yes. No Wi Fi. We have Bluetooth music with it. All right, cool. So thanks a lot. Thank, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.